Alright, so this is the uh, finished Shobu Zukuri O Tanto. Um, you can see I made, uh, I put gray Ito, it's cotton on there. Let's see if we can get a little closer here. Aged up the hibaki a little bit. Alright. A little closer. You can see the tsuba. We had a sepa for it. See the other side. My hands had a little bit of grunge on them and I stained the uh, Edo a little bit because I'm a dumbass. I just like doing that battle rap, I guess. Um, but yeah, everything's nice and tight on this. Uh, no rattle, no nothing. It's going to be a sweet cutter, I believe. Once again, that tuba is made out of a old cast iron skillet. Um, like I said, I soldered all these together. It does have traditional bamboo makugi on it. Fortunately, it's buried under this one, but that's all right. I can still get it in and out. <clears throat> All right, quick comparison of blades here. All right, one year ago, I made this out of a file, no coal, I used hardwood to heat the blade and I used oil to harden it. This one um, I made about three months ago, maybe two months ago. And uh, you know, it's made out of a steel punch tano. I did use coal, but I had a really crappy anvil to make this with. And this one I made out of a uh, lawnmower blade which was already flat so I started out with something pretty decent to work with and I, I had this really new or I mean this really sweet new anvil so you know and with experience everything gets better as you can see I started small and tried to get my craft down the best I could before I went on to anything bigger because you know bigger is harder and use more material up if you know if you don't do it right you waste more so all right i think this is gonna be uh last knife i make for a little bit it's gonna get cold and i gotta concentrate on bringing in some money so hope everyone enjoyed all right thank you